right, Dad, you guys go with the blues here. With the bees in full swing over there with the firefighters, uh, one of the fire, local firefighters' daughters, one year anniversary. They got big. They support us, we support them. It's a beautiful thing. 75 people, pizza and Caesar salad today. So, uh, but I've been wanting to do this for a while, some short ribs. So I got some beautiful short ribs, restaurant depot. Look at the size of that one. Some of some of you can get lucky with that one, I'll tell you that. So um, I'm doing this like keto style, no or, or no carbs, you know. We're not gonna I'm not gonna use any uh, flour. It's just gonna be a natural and uh, we're gonna do like uh, just a natural uh, veal stock, you know, or beef stock reduction uh, to finish it off. And uh, so uh, we're going to use that natural fat, you know, to render it down. And uh, I made some veal stock earlier, so I got a little bit of drippings instead of using any oil or butter to render this down. So we want to get a good, uh, we're going to get a real good sear on this. We're going to get like, you know, we want to... I want to get a real good sear on it to get a natural color also. So, uh, so we got uh, not enough room for all of it, so I'm going to put this on the back burner. We got two more here. And uh, so again, we got. Uh, Good amount of salt and pepper to get it started. Get some flavor working. And uh, that's it for now. We're gonna get it uh we're gonna get it rolling, get it all browned up, and we'll be back. Hey, so I got this little handy Daniel up here. I couldn't find my other ones. That's my old trusty. Because uh it sets down in a container, nobody sees it. Uh, oh, I threw my knife. Put my knife over there, Glenn. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you how we, you know, for the. Uh, anyway, I got a, a veal stock going, so I got these trims. You just throw them right in there. Right in that veal stock. And uh. Do the tops. The in, uh, Even an onion, you know, the uh, onion peels give it plenty of uh, color into uh, into the sauce. That darken it up a little bit and flavor. See? So throw that in. I cut that a little deep. I don't like to waste that much. Okay. We're not gonna we're not gonna waste that. I don't like I don't like to see people make stock with like using whole carrots, whole celery. To me that's a huge waste. You know? Leaving those ends there, most people throw that in the garbage. Got a little discoloration on it. You no know, regular right stock. Nothing wrong with this. Put it in your soup. Put it in your soup, your stock. Don't throw this stuff away. So, uh, we got everything browned up real nice. Now you gotta be real careful with these because the flat surface, easy to get burned. You know, when you turn them over, just be real careful. Because they kind of slap. The worst burn I've had was from these or uh, Asabuco. It's, they go, they flop down, they flop down in that grease, and uh, they'll flop down and they'll splatter up, and boy, boy, I tell you what, this hot grease is the worst. I'm going to add a little more salt and pepper onto the top now. Just, uh, so, um, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to add these vegetables at the end because uh, 
pardon me, I just got out of a, a, a hard battle with the flu. A little short, uh, uh, had that type A, type A nasty flu, but uh, getting better. But, um, so what I want to do is uh, add the vegetables more towards the end. They'll add flavor, but it'll still ha have the texture. You know, sometimes if I wasn't going to use the vegetables in the sauce, I'd add it right now and cook them in with the meat, but I'm going to wait. So here, see? So we're going to, we got a nice, this is almost going to be like a vegetable garnish, but also, you know, add, add plenty of flavor. Carrots, but your root vegetables gonna add so much flavor. Okay. All right. Let's check this out here now. Looks like we're getting some awesome color. Again, super careful. Don't, don't uh, take, take plenty of time when you're doing these here. See how that just pops? A lot of times what I'll do is I'll, I'll take some of this grease out of there. And I'll just reduce our risk of getting burnt. Look at all that. Might even settle down in the bottom. Might even get a little bit of flavor out of it. We'll see. All right, we just let this go a little bit longer and uh, we'll be right back. All right, so this is shrunk down nice. Now we can fit them all in one pan. So I'm gonna pull off. I'm gonna pull off most of the grease, all the grease, whatever I can, really. 
I don't want that in our sauce. Might be for your dinner tonight, Glenn. Maybe. Huh? I think so. So, uh, I'll put in there now. I'm gonna put some tomato paste. We'll brown up our tomato paste a little bit. I got some fennel I found in the refrigerator. Garlic. Put a little bit of uh, our mirepoix in there. Nice veal stock in the back going. We're not, we don't, we're, this is going to make its own, own stock with plenty of flavor. Get that browned up real nice. bottle of red wine, Cabernet. Take it right down after, pick it up. Work out all the lumps. Put it right over the top. A nice chicken stock instead of I just add water. Beautiful. I'm gonna, add, I'm gonna add a little bit of water just to make sure everything's covered up and then we'll reduce it down. Okay, we're test it for salt and pepper now. Flavor's already there. It's incredible. Yeah, it's so uh um, all that goodness. So to come back to the boil, go back to the simmer. Never want to boil it too hard. And then we'll uh, we'll probably just cook it down for about another hour or so. Okay, Glenn? Sounds good. All right, we'll be right back. All right, we'll get our veal simmering up nicely. I'd say probably at least halfway halfway there. It's been, what, about a half hour? Yeah. And I'm going to add the veg in, the rest of the veg. So that, you know, that won't overcook. It'll add some nice, nice flavor and color into our sauce. All 
Okay, I'm gonna let that go for, let's say, Glenn, if you got time, another 20 minutes? Yeah, we minutes? can do it. Okay. We'll let that go. All right, so as you see, it's still, even though we sc scraped off most of the grease, or poured off most of the grease, we still got a little bit. So I kind of put it on the edge of the burner and uh, let, let it, let it, let it chase the uh, grease. But don't, you know, don't pour, don't pour off all the good stock too while you're doing this. So uh, but I'll show you where to finish it up. I'm gonna put a, uh, you see where you get, you know, you, you put it on the edge, let it push it away so you don't get any grease. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to boil that down, kind of reduce sure. it down by half. Yeah. And uh, I get a piece of the, uh, also the piece of the, uh, while we're reducing it down, I'll finish cooking that off a little bit more. We'll be right back. Okay. All right. Hey, we're there. Glenn. All natural reduction, no flour. See? Nice and tender. Just a touch of butter. Watch how it shines up the sauce. See how that butter made it nice and shiny, picking it up. Almost like a bare blanc. That's it, beautiful short ribs of beef, gluten free, keto friendly, all natural reduction. Jeremy Smyers, following your lead, brother. My, my buddy Jeremy Smyers out in uh, out in Terrell, Texas. Uh, he's a great uh, YouTube friend, we become friends, YouTube friends, and uh, he, Jeremy Smyers, friends of mine on Facebook. You'll see some of the stuff he's making. He's a diligent. He studies my videos, uh, so many other chefs' videos. He's, he's become like a, uh, I'd say like a, he's a professional level chef now. He just, uh, he put the time in, you know. It's, you gotta do it. If you wanna learn, you gotta do it. You can't just watch. If you really wanna go somewhere with the cooking industry, jump in hands, hands, feet first. Because uh, you can watch it done a million times, but until you do it yourself, you really never know it. All right, hey, so go ahead now. We're, we're going to do a little taste test here. We, but uh, this is our brave short ribs of beef. Go ahead, dig in, see what you think. Let's see if we can cut it with a fork. Not really. But it's a butter knife that we're using. <laughs> butter knife. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> you know the. Uh, for a second. <laughs> you know the. Uh, Adding those vet root vegetables at the end, you know, still got a little al dente, nice. Not al dente, but cooked all the way through, but not co cooked beyond recognition. And add, add a little bit of color and flavor, but the flavor they add. And also, people do a lot of short ribs, you know, uh, boneless. Got to have that bone, right, B? That's where all the added flavor comes in. No flour added to this. It's all natural reduction. And uh, so... 
Ollie could try it. There's That's no true. Flower, yeah. That's true. Okay. And uh Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm gonna let Holly try that before I do that. <laughs> so, this day, you guys, Coco the Blues here at uh, beautiful downtown New London. Artist, Odd Clave. Uh, we got unbelievable uh, musicians around. We got Con College, Mitchell College, Coast Guard Academy, EB across the river, uh, Sub Base. You know, we got a, we got so much history here. Deep Water Port. We got the ferry boats coming from the islands. Um, you know, we've got Amtrak coming through, 95 passes right through here. Come visit this beautiful little city on the Thames. Come over here, Holly. Holly, you can actually try this. There's no flower whatsoever. No flower. Okay. She's like... <laughs> Sorry. What is it? It's a ribbon. No, no flower in it. Try a little piece on yeah, the Yeah, give me more of that. Said, yeah, give yeah. me more of that. Like B's gonna clean it up. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> Try that sauce, it's got no gluten in it. Gluten free. Is that keto, keto friendly? Good? That's really good. All natural flavor, can't beat it. Daddy Jazz, cool with the blues here. Peace. Glenn Peltier on camera. You're knocking it out of the park, man. Everybody's saying that. Uh, the pictures are popping, and, <laughs> and uh, Paul is not in the house, but uh, no. she'll be here tonight. We'll save one for her. At least. At least one. Peace.